This week, we meet Admiral Mom and make a hologram. So once again, we're starting in Final Cut. Now the introduction of Admiral Mom actually starts on this shot. Now this is the normal stars background, X-wing interior, and my niece. And then I dissolve on two things, this little hologram that I created in Blender, and then the backside of Admiral Mom. Uh, something I had to think through, make sure I was shooting everything I needed. Um, so I actually had my sister-in-law turn around backwards and I said, just stand there. Uh, recorded some of it so I could have the back of her as I knew I wanted to fade her in over this shot. Now the front side of Admiral Mom is once again, uh, star's center background forward. Uh, I may have uh, made a new background for that because that says star center background and this says forward. So I may have made a new star's background showing this go sort of at us a little bit as it moves forward. Um, the other thing I did was I have uh, another still. This I created in Blender, adding more lights just like I did for the other angles. The next layer is this glowing light source for the hologram. And then there's the hologram itself, which is just my sister-in-law in green screen. And then I added a bunch of effects to it. I changed the color. I added bad TV to it, some flashing. There are plenty of tutorials online on how to make a Star Wars hologram. Um, but uh, the basic gist is uh, green screen, some bad TV, some flashing, some glowing, some vignetting, and uh, you yourself can have a Star Wars hologram. One thing I didn't do on this layer here was vignette it and put some of it out of focus. Looking back, I probably would do that now, but I didn't think of it at the time because I was so obsessed with trying to figure out how to do a hologram. So some things slipped through the cracks and that's okay. Now let's jump over to Blender. So here we are in Blender looking out the front of the X-Wing. Um, this shot to me seems like I must have blown that up a lot in Final Cut or this is not the actual file because again, my organizational skills are terrible. Um, but if we take this camera, lock camera to view, maybe we zoom in a little bit. Uh, it could have been that. Or maybe I uh, did uh, use that wider angle and then just reframe it. But uh, that was it. Um, basically had that extra camera looking forward out the uh, cockpit of the X-Wing. Um, later, I will show you right in here. I actually did a close-up of this panel, but uh, more to come on that later. But that's it. Same way I shot the reverse angle for my nieces. Now let's take a look at the glowing hologram. The first thing I'll note is that apparently I did not export this with a alpha. So in Final Cut, I would have composited it using a luminance key. And let's start with the light itself. I just dropped in a spotlight. Uh, I made it 4,000 watts. I made it green. Um, you'll notice my scale is still terrible. I have not applied scale, which you should always do. Um, to break up the light, I actually just did a plane, subdivided it a bunch, and just started deleting little sections of it to make it look interesting. Uh, again, look, I did not add my scale or apply my scale. So um, still making lots of scale mistakes, which I believe I corrected most of them in my next short. Um, there are other ways of doing this. If I would try and do it now, I would probably take the light and you can add textures to light. Um, I don't know how to do it, but um, it seems like uh, there's a lot of interesting tutorials out there on how to do it. So that might be what I would try and do. But for this, I just took this, added two keyframes to it, and I just spun the uh, plane around to create that uh, crazy lighting effect. Next week, we're going to make the Death Star plans. I'll see you then.